Hello everybody, welcome to the channel. Today, let's take a look at Lies of P. This game just came out, so obviously I had to install it onto my Steam Deck Steam OS. And I'm just going to show you the gameplay with like natively, and then um, I'm going to show you the gameplay with FSR 3.0 frame generation mod by Luke FC. And see if we get any performance gains, you know, any UI flickering, artifacts, ghosting, stuff like that. And then finally, I'll take you to my Steam Deck desktop mode and I'll show you how to install this mod. Okay, so yeah, this is the game natively. I like, I don't even have FSR 2 on. All right, so you can see we get like 40 ish frames. All right, let's go to settings, graphics. Okay, screen mode borderless, max frame limit set to unlimited, V Sync off, and then AMD FSR. Two, I'm going to kind of set it to quality. Okay, and then uh, yeah, graphic preset is on best, so the best graphics we can get. And you can see we already get a like a jump, like 50 ish, 60 frames. So this game is really well optimized. So you know, good job from the developers. Like it runs really well on the Steam Deck already. So I don't really think you need. All right, let's try. Yeah, let's do balance. Okay, so I don't think you really need any performance mods, honestly. But uh, yeah, I'll just try it out anyway, just in case you want to test stuff out. Um, so this is best settings, like the highest preset we can go. And we get like 40-ish, 50. Okay. The balance style is pretty good. Okay, now let's change the preset to medium. I think medium is enough, like for the Steam Deck. Okay, and you see we get like 60, 70 on medium preset. So yeah, okay, it's good. So I'm really excited for this game. I'm actually going to like play through it. Uh, I'm going to stop playing Red Dead Redemption 2. I've been playing that for a while now. So, yeah, I might start this game. I've been waiting for this game for a while. And, yeah, it's unfortunate what happened for the developer, obviously. Like, I think this is their only game right now. And, like, it's their first game. And they did a really good job. And I think they made a lot of money with this game. But, uh, yeah, very unfortunate of what happened. So, I hope they get over it. And, um, you know... Good luck for their future games. I think Lies of P2 is in development. So I hope they don't mess up like they did here. Okay, so I think that's enough for the native gameplay. Um, let me show you the gameplay with the FSR 3.0 frame generation mod on. Okay, so I've already installed it. Like So all that like mod files, I'll show you how to do that later on desktop mode. Now I'm just going to add the launch options to run the mod. Okay, so we should get a mod window like always to hook up the mod and the game. Yep, this one. So I know like the mod is working. Hooking up. Okay. Okay, you can see the frame rate's going crazy right now. Okay, so if you're liking the video so far, please give a thumbs up, hit that like button, it really helps out the channel, and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. We talk a lot about like gaming handhelds, especially the Steam Deck, and you know, mods, trainers, cheats, stuff like that. Okay, so you can see we've got like over 100 like frames, but we get UI flickering. Okay, I think we can fix that. I think it's because we don't have frame generation. Okay, so go to settings and then graphics. So now we've got the mod on. We've got this like new option for NVIDIA DLSS. So I'm going to set this to highest quality. And yeah, that's it. That's it. All right, you see now the 
UI flickering is gone. And the frame rate is still like in the hundred. But the frame time is going a little bit crazy. Um so yeah, I'm not really sure if this is how it's supposed to be. Uh, is the mod on? Like the FPS counter tells me it is. And I don't get any UI flickering. And yeah, everything looks good right now. But uh, yeah, not really sure. So if you know, let me know in the comments. Like, is this the way to enable the mod? Because the game was running pretty smooth already, like before, so I don't really feel much difference. Okay, except for like the FPS counter at, at up top. All right, let's change it to best since we've got the extra frames. Okay. So 70, 80. I've not started playing this game yet, so yeah, I'm just testing stuff out. I'm not really sure what's the story. I didn't watch the cutscenes. So I will go and do that. Might be busy for a while. Might be busy for a while playing this game and not making YouTube videos. Take a break, maybe. Such a grind. YouTube is such a grind. Okay, station employee has the train station keys. Okay. Guard. Perfect guard. Okay, so you need to parry and stuff, I guess. Wow. Okay, so yeah, looking good so far. Looking good so far. So if I did like manage to get this game with the FSR3 mod on, I'm not sure if there's frame generation, like, but feels like it since like there's no UI flickering and stuff. So yeah, I'll leave it here. Uh, let's go back to our desktop mode and I'll show you how to install it. So see you back in desktop mode. Okay, so before we go any further, I'd like to introduce you to my secondary channel. It's called Growing Up Cooking. Other than gaming, cooking is also a passion of mine. So I'd like to share some of my cooking dishes, recipes on that channel. If you like gaming, you like eating, and you want to support me, please go over there and subscribe to that channel. I'll give you some sneak preview right now. Alright, we're going to kill it. Are you ready? Oh, oh my god. Oh god, put the sauce in. Mm. So did you enjoy that? Watch the full video at Growing Up Cooking. Links in the description. Welcome back to my Steam Deck desktop mode. So first thing you need to do, locate your games folder. Okay, so open the Dolphin file manager. I've got mine right here in Homes, Games, Lies of P. So inside here, there's another folder called Lies of P. Go inside this and then binaries. Win64, this is where like your EXE is and you know, you gotta put your mod files here. All right, so locate your mod files. So I'm gonna open my mod files. I'll put them in my downloads folder and then uh, look FC mods, FSR2, FSR3. The latest um, version of the mod as of recording is 0 0.10.3. All right, I haven't downloaded all of them yet. I've only got um, 220. But uh, yeah, this game uses uh, FSR 2.2. So I'm going to use the 2.2.0 and then just like unzip the 2.2.0.zip. Move this file, extract it to the game folder. Okay, I already have it. So overwrite. Okay, and then also the common.zip. 
comment.zip. We just need the WinMMDLL and WinMMINI. Okay, apply to all. And yeah, you need to run the game once because um, you don't have this file. Um, like when when you when you haven't like run the game with the mod on. So run the game once with the mod on. All right. So after this, what you need to do, go to your Steam. Okay, locate your game. Click on the gear icon, properties, and make sure you add the launch options. This kicks the winmm.dll so to activate the mod. So I'll leave this in the description. So it's wine dll overrides equals winmm equals n comma b and then space percentage command percentage. I'll just like leave it in the description. You don't have to type it out in case you mess up. Just copy and paste it and then run the game once. Okay, so once you run the game once, you generate this file. Okay, double click it, go inside and make sure you set fake NVIDIA GPU to true. By default, it's false. Okay, so set this to true. And because this game is built on Unreal Engine, you can also turn this on as well. AMD Unreal Engine DLSS workaround and set it to true. All right. And that's it. That's it. That's how you install the mod. And yeah, the settings is done. Go into its game. And yeah, at the start, you'll probably get that UI flickering. If you set it to like um, AMD FSR, just uh, go to DLSS. Right, let's try it again. Try it again. I'll show you again in desktop mode. So it works in desktop mode. It works in like um, gaming mode. I've been getting a lot of like uh, comments saying people like people are saying that they like get the games working on desktop mode and it doesn't work in gaming mode. Uh, I don't really know why. <laughs> like for me, if it works on gaming uh, desktop mode, it works in gaming mode. Okay, so yeah, let's try out. Let's try out uh, this game in desktop mode. Let's see if we can fix that flickering, that UI flickering that really bothers me. Okay, so yeah, we still get that UI flickering. And if we go here, okay, okay, okay press the wrong button. Okay, go to settings, graphics. Yeah, I think like you have to swap it around. So let's go to quality, AMD quality. Okay, we still get the UI flickering. And if we set it to quality and then we set it back to DLSS highest quality, I think it makes it go away. Yeah. So. Yeah, I think that's how you do it. Like once you restart the game, I think you still get that UI flickering. Just set it to AMD FSR and then change it back to DLSS highest quality and yeah I think that's the way to do it well that's how I do it right now and yeah so I hope this video helped you out if it did please leave a like and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already see you guys in the next one later